All right, guys, welcome back to Jerk Block Talk. I'm Jason Fernandez. We are here at CrossFit Rife, and today I want to talk about something that I think is uh, is very, very important, and that's kind of how you start building community within your gym. Uh, and there's some very specific times that you that are you can kind of use to your advantage when it comes to that kind of stuff, uh, particularly what is about to happen um, right now. So Cassidy literally, yeah, he literally just called three, two, one time, um, and we found a lot of uh, a lot of benefit with doing this lately, uh, which is as soon as the workout's done, we have everybody grab their stuff and we, we send them all for a walk together, right? So it's part of their cool down is just to kind of like bring their heart rate down, but we want them to kind of walk together. Um, and you'll see like, so usually what we'll do is, is we send them out and we either hit, have them walk like towards the end of the parking lot or usually across the parking lot. Um, nice job guys. Um, and we do that. Ooh, I like that. Thumbs up. It's good. And, um, and we do that for a reason. So it's not just because we want them to go for a walk, but there's some specific things that are happening as soon as the workout is done. And uh, so first and foremost, everybody knows that there's a lot of things that happen with shared suffering, uh, but there is a lot of kind of studies and, and, and background research that suggests that um, the limbic system is is very stimulated by, um, by exercise. So limbic system is kind of like the the center in your brain for emotions. Um, so what you'll see is at the very end of a workout, this is kind of that time where people who probably normally wouldn't talk to each other will interact, right? So they're gonna be talking about the workout, how much it sucked, you know, and uh, this is the reason why as a coach, you guys may have had these scenarios where like at the end of a workout, maybe some of your members tell you stuff like kind of out of the blue well, that they wouldn't normally tell you. So like, I think it's funny, like always in our gym, um, we have like, We've had like a ton of um, pregnant women in our gym over the years and I've, I've had some like really funny stories like when they tell me they're pregnant, which is like in the middle of the workout, like everybody goes for a run and then somebody will be just be like, hey, by the way, I think you should know. And I'm just kind of like, that's something we should have talked about beforehand. Um, so there's a reason and it's actually, it's science, right? Um, that that's a good time to send people out together where there's nothing going on and they can just talk a little bit and kind of share some of that experience. But that what happens is you start building building some of that community and some of that uh, the interaction between people that may not always have the interaction. So when we send them out for a walk just to cool down and get their heart rate in, we'll immediately bring them back in and they'll start putting up the weights. We'll do some stretching and things like that. Um, but again, there's a reason we do it that way uh, because science says so, right? So, but again, it's the, uh, the limbic system houses most of your emotions. Uh, I believe, I'll double check this, but I believe it is the, uh, amygdala and the, oh, I can't remember the other one that makes up the limbic system, but um, yeah, it's not the Abdullah oblongata, which is why alligators are ornery. It's not because they have so many teeth and they don't have a toothbrush. Um, I'm from Louisiana, so I can make fun of water boys. So, um, but anyway, try it out. It doesn't really matter how you do this. You can send them on a walk. You can do some group stretching, something like that, but put them almost like force them in an environment where they're just together and they have nothing else to do besides interact with each other. And I think you'll see a lot of really, really good interaction. Um, a lot of people joking, cutting up, doing stuff like that, but there's a lot of value to be had. Um, and it, it is, works to your advantage to do it during that little time frame. So you have a limited amount of time when you can maximize that community piece. And it's immediately after the workout when people are exhausted, they kind of let their guard down and they're more likely to interact with each other and this is where friendships start to form. This is where your community is really built and forged. So um, again, it doesn't matter how you do it. You can send them for a walk. You can do group stretching. You can do some sort of like weird cool down. Like it, it doesn't matter as long as you're the one facilitating it and it's done in a timely manner so you can take advantage 
um, those are emotions that are going to be in a little bit heightened state uh, immediately following some intense exercise. So try it out. I think you guys will find some really good value to it. Um, again, right now he's so we sent him for a walk. And they come in. They're doing some group stretching. This is usually where all the joking and cutting up comes from uh, comes into play. People are shooting the shit and stuff like that. So um, if you have any other ways you do this. Let us know. Again, it's not really important kind of like how you do it. It's more that, that you do it so you can get that value. But um, if you have questions, guys, please put them in the comments. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Trains Here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.